Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of God of War Ragnarok. And, uh, you know, today I'm going to, of course, be continuing the story because now, you know, we have Tyr who's going to be joining us on this journey today. And I got to say, man, I absolutely, lo I absolutely love where this game is going. Uh, I think the story is really good so far. Well, I shouldn't say good. It's, a, like, incredible. That's the better way to put it. This game will, is hands down a masterpiece. And I haven't even finished it yet. And I already think it's a masterpiece already. Because the last game was a masterpiece. But so was this one. This one just, you know, it just multiplied that by, like, a thousand, really. I really like this game a lot. And, you know, in the last episode, um... We brought Tyr back. Uh, oh, actually, no. Because it's been a minute since I played. Um, so, actually, what happened was, to give you a bit of a recap, Atreus and Sindri, um, they went out on, like, a little adventure. And the reason why Atreus snuck out was because he wanted to, you know, have, you know, discussion with, Frey, with Freya and, um, you know, talk to her about, you know, reconsidering, you know, joining them. You know to stop Ragnarok, and you know trying to convince her to you know of course stop trying to you know uh, like to stop attempting to kill Kratos you know because we know that she's not gonna stop because you know she's out for you know nothing but pure revenge and and she just has a whole bunch of vending it's not vending vengeance Jesus I cannot talk um she has a whole bunch of vengeance you know because she's still trying to kill Kato you know Kratos after you know what he did you know to her son. But, you know, she's not going to stop anytime soon. But Atreus, he, he got lucky because, you know, she spared his life. So, it's a good thing she was very merciful, you know, in the last episode. And good thing that, you know, Atreus is still in one piece and so is Sindri. Uh, but, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Y'all been in my channel so far. And uh, if you guys want to help, you know, support the channel even more, you can hit that like button, subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And with all that being said... Let's dive on into this next episode of God of War Ragnarok. I'm here for you. Now before I want to move on, I'll disinfect my tools. Uh, I wonder. What kind of armor. No, honestly. Let's see, for the weapons, let's see what we have here. Blades of Chaos. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Let's keep going. Honestly, you know what? I actually might... Switch the armor out, probably, for today's episode. We go with that. Just, you know, switch it up a little bit. Probably keep that. What? That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, okay, so... Sonic Aftershock. Melee attacks against the enemy afflicted with Sonic Deal bonus stun. Upgrades increase the stun dealt. Okay. Grab some metal from Tears Temple. Fused with soundstone. Echoing the warrior spirit. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, with all that being said, let's get into this. Now that's all said and done. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. It's a good thing Atreus was able to sneak back into Sindri's place, you know, because Kratos had no idea that Sindri uh, and Atreus had left out. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little Pikachu? I promise I'll be brief. Sound like he said Pikachu for a second. Hey, yo, this same Pokemon. My goodness, what a strapping physique! Capable of an astounding variety of. Acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? <laughs> this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. 
Yo! Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic <laughs> I see. Wait. No. You're Raditz Hosker. <laughs> Why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Reddit Tosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Bro, I hope you got some, like, hand sanitizer. Or th dude just gave you... A dirty seed. It was just in his mouth, bro. Like, yo, that's crazy. Ah, so that's why good master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have. Oh, okay. Pass. Okay, split like branches. Okay, Alfheim awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of uh, Nifhelm. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the words. Hold secret rewards. Spartan's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Spartan's fine. May hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Spartan's remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Ah, oh, we're gonna. We'll go to Alfheim. You can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. When at Alfheim. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seem better in Alphonse. <laughs> Did they now? Alphime. It's been so long. I'm not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Yikes. Thimble winter hit Alpha. Okay, there's a chest down there. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble winter. <sighs> Wait, what's. Oh. There we go. Alright, got this for him to read.
Oh no, Hold man. On. I hear something out there. Something big. Nah, man. This this is about to get real insane. Something that tells me things are about to go left real quick. I mean, what do you hear? like I know something lies ahead, but just how could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but but the question is like, what is under there? Like what lies ahead? Because it cannot be good. Okay, so there's that symbol. Now, uh, where are the other two? Those bats? Wow, there's got some bats up here. Oh, wait. This one. Oh, I need to get one more. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Ah, thanks for the hint. I think we gotta go around. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Yeah, that was a really good eye. Hi, old friend. Just looting no on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Oh. Very well. Nice. Now the health is increased because we got the other apple. So I remember I, you had to, like, I think get two of them, I do believe. Bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. <laughs> Truly... Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. So it can, like, ricochet the axe. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, they exp Oh, wow. Okay. Well, these are some new creatures that just so happen to face. I like how he how Tyr does that stomp like to get enemies in the air for you. That's pretty cool. Like how like they actually got like the actual other like besides the Treyas, they actually got like supporting characters to you know contribute more to the fight. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Oh, 
Oh, a tracking axe throw that ricochets between targets. That's pretty cool. Okay, so oh, I guess we're supposed brother. to go. How was he involved? Long ago, Freer of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't oh to no. It. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Right, what are y'all talking about? Like, they're attacking us. Like, we got no other choice but to hurt them. Hey, I like how he does that, that stomp, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, you have to... Well, I had I was absolutely correct by my predictions. I I had a feeling something was lying ahead, and it was those new enemies. Knew something was waiting for us. Tribute to Freyr made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, what is... Why does this look like... Okay, I feel like we're supposed to... Maybe we get something later on. To deal with that. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. 
So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? Check and make sure it was like that wasn't leaving anything behind. What's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just oh. how they looked before the division. The division, yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the, the lighting in this is amazing. They discovered the power of the light, like the environmental, like art that's like. They did a really good job with the environment in this game. Like each environment feels different and unique, and like unique. It's like it's yes, some things don't change. Really good attention to detail. Wait, I feel like wait a minute. Am I supposed to? Above the door, there's a light crystal. Okay, there we go. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Whoa. It's the light. Ah! Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus the light elves were born. Done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of light elves, yep, there they are. Them again. They Let's just to let these two do their friend, brother. Right, you just we're way past talking at this point. Let me try talking to them again. Let's nice. just to let these two do their thing, brother. Oh. I felt that one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you, look out! 
idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Try it away. Man, we are like Spider-Man, like with these blades, man. Going from wall to wall and swinging from ledges and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that just brings... Oh, never mind. I thought this was... Just brings us right back here. That's all it does. different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. These things smell awful. Behind you! Incoming! I see one of the ravens right there. Oh, crap. Oh, that was so close. Oh, wait a minute. Is it? There we go. There's like a lot of loot like in this level, man. Huh. Glad we explored. Yeah, no kidding. The good thing you just said that Atreus, it is it's a really good thing we explored. Shall we continue? So I say it's funny how like the characters kind of like think the players like thoughts 
like whenever you're like playing this game because it's like literally he thinks just like us you know the players where it's like oh we're glad we explored and he literally just said it out loud because he knows what the players are thinking i like how they did that for the dialogue of this game Oh, that is what not what I was. Wait. Oh wait! Wow! Look at this. This is like a whole bunch of loot. And it's all in what you bring to it. Or light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Wait, what? Here. Get back. Let's die. Oh. So we can. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. Yo, chill out. Break yourself. short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so sad. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. 
Oh, there goes a chest that over there. Much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. All right, buddy. I'm actually going to conclude up sorry here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of God of War Riding Rock. And, you know, thought I'd end out the episode, you know, after, you know, whooping some ass real quick. But, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for episode <laughs> watching this episode of God of War Riding Rock. And, um, man, I cannot speak today, you know. I'd, throughout this entire episode... You heard nothing but pure stuttering and like a whole bunch of like gibberish at the same time. Plus, it's been a minute, so it's been a long weekend. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out.